Denzel? Y'all yeah. remember when Denzel, Denzel? You remember when yeah. he asked that um that Russian to let the little girl go? Like right yeah. in the first beginning? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember that scene when he was sitting down in the chair and talking to him? Yeah. That's what the just listen to the song and see if I'm lying. All, All right, right. Go ahead. We're gonna do one verse at a time. Lone, I know you haven't heard this. Um Kat okay. I know you heard this. Mr. Bennington, uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard this. Okay. All right, cool. Let's go. And let me know what the audio sounds like if I need to adjust. Hold on, let me let me let me make preparations just in case so it won't. Audio microphone, microphone, um, be fine. Speaker US3. Okay, recording camera. Okay, all right. Hey, how does my how does my audio sound? Is that better? Yeah, you good? Great. yeah you good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, meet the grams. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father, let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man, your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa were a world condom. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind him. Life is hard, I know. The challenge is always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. And you're a leadership. Oh my God, are we pausing already? <laughs> oh, it's about, it about to get hard. Already in and he already eating. <laughs> It's about to get hard, bro. It's about it's getting harder than this, cause you want to stop right, right now. Yeah, I, I have to, cause I'm just certain things this man said that go over so many people's head. When he was saying that our parents do stuff to us that don't affect us until we're yeah. older, like we don't know that that stuff is in us until we're older. That's a fact. Yeah. Oh my God, bro. Like, just continue, continue, continue. <laughs> continue. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, bro. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this. Okay. Then stand behind them. Life is hard. I know the challenge is always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. And you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor. Since your daddy don't teach you shit, never let a man piss on your legs, son. Either you. I'm stopping it right here. Okay. Y'all know that. Ti's homie. Right? Right. Hold on. Ti's homie. I've got his name, but one of T.I.'s friends ran up on Drake at an event a couple of years ago and quite literally pissed on him. And I Drake think it was did a nothing about it. It was a Puff Daddy event. Yeah, and Drake did nothing about it. He T.I.'s homie literally pissed on him, and Drake did nothing about it. And speaking of Puff Daddy, fucking Dittler, that nigga slapped Drake in yeah, <laughs> his face. Drake didn't know. It did, is that allegedly, or do they actually got video proof of that? No, everybody said it happened. Everybody yeah. said it happened. Damn, I see Valens here. Um, oh, Valens here? I don't know how long Valens gonna be here or not, but I know Valen can't stay for long. Hey, Young Prez, you're not speaking right now. I'm gonna temporarily remove you and add Valen in for a second. Hold up. That's hilarious. Hey, Valen, can you hear us? Um, yeah. Hey, how how long can you stay? I got like an hour. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want to give uh, us one of your Valence speeches real quick? Bitch, it's gotta be a topic. <laughs> he just said magic me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. We go. We go. Okay, Valen, have you heard Meet the Grams? I haven't heard the songs, um, but I have. Um, heard the details if that makes sense. Okay, so how about this, Valen? How about we listen to this together and when it's all said and done, oh, just let us know. I don't how need you to listen it. to it to tell you what I've that Kendrick's just telling everybody what I've known for years. Woo! Like, I have never been a Drake fan, except for let me let me rephrase that when when he first came out with that, I just want successful. I love it way, way, way back. That was my jam. I want oh, the no. money. Money no is shit. The car, car, the the that, okay, that was catchy. I can't. I'm not even gonna fight that one. Fair enough. That shit was. Wait, let me do this. Let me. <laughs> all right, that shit was catchy. Fair enough. I won't. I won't. Everybody was on that hotline. I'm not even gonna f like fuck. I know that hotline bling. I see. I actually don't like that song. I like, <laughs> That's I one of my guilty pleasures. Every it was ubiquitous. Like whether you liked it or not. Yeah, you know what I mean. 
That's yeah, really, oh, that's a guilty but, pleasure for me. For me, once I found out that he was the dude from Degrassi, I was like, what do you oh, want to be successful? You were in you know the most popular teen drama <laughs> in Canadian fucking history. You know what's funny what about that? You want to be successful. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny history. about that? Like, that series made started from the bottom irrelevant to me because, and I didn't even realize this like two years ago. <laughs> my wife, I, I love her to death. Married man. I love my wife to death. She loves the grassy. She's watched the entire show since I've known her start to finish like three times in the last like three years. She's she just starts over from episode one and watches it again. And one day she was just sitting down watching it. And I'm just I'm staring at the screen because I'm perplexed. And yeah, I'm not gonna like, lie, I watched it too. And I'm I watched, no, I'm, I watched no, it as well. I'm, I'm literally like, I'm yeah. staring at the screen because I'm like perplexed. I'm like, what what like <laughs> is that fucking Drake? <laughs> like, is that, like, like, is that Drake? And she's like, yeah, yeah that's and it's like, and it's, and then the credits came on. It was like Arby Graham. I was like, that's fucking Drake. She's like, yeah, he was an actor in Canada before. Her. I was like, wow. Yeah. And that Nigga, was no, what I, I, I Yo, 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 I'll do you one better. Product. Yo, yo, so, yo, yo, so I'll do you one better, boss. That nigga was on Soul Food picking on the mod. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and, 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 but no, but here's the craziest thing. I'm just like, I can tell. That this was the definition of a middle class to middle upper class, <laughs> possibly upper class motherfucker pretending like he grew up in the struggle, like he's from the projects, from he's the ghetto. Like I could, I could tell. I always felt that that way about him. That's why I always called him light skin. But when I saw this motherfucker, like hey, on, hey, a, on a on a on a syndicated, pub publicized Canadian TV show, I was like, bro, you you didn't want for shit your entire life. I could, I just. It just vindicated everything I felt about him, I, like that, and it, it goes. I, I I really dislike Drake, and I don't mean like his music. I dislike him as a person, but there's so many reasons to it. And Kendrick is just vindicating every feeling I've ever had about him. Like, honestly. so do you think? So, as a Kendrick fan myself, do you think everyone's now paying attention because, as big as Kendrick is, people have always been saying before all of this, like, oh man, Kendrick drops only every six years and then disappears. Now you see why this man does what he does. <laughs> Well, I think Kendrick genuinely just does not fuck with the industry and the people in it, mm -hmm. and he that wants nothing to do with them, and he doesn't want to be around them. And I and never then, got that impression. And no, he doesn't I, owe no, anybody really, a certain amount of really albums feel. for however long. No, like if, I, if I'm being honest, I feel like Kendrick is. At There's never been life, a better like, time to switch. I'm just gonna release the music when I want to. I don't care about doing features. I don't care about hopping on nobody's song. I don't care about trying to get my name out there more. The people who like me will like me, and I'm cool with that. I've always had that feeling about him. Like he, I, and it, it kind of goes back to when people say, "Don't mess with the the quiet kid in the classroom." It, there's a reason for that. Like, leave him the fuck alone. Like, leave him alone because when you get him to decide that he really wants to snap at you, I mean, J Cole, don't come to school tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. no, no I'm telling you, man. Yeah. Like J Cole had the had these smart. He was like, nope. He saw what was about to happen a mile away. He was like, I'm gonna not do that. Right, but also, but but getting back to that whole Kendrick only dropped six years at a time. How long was it between, uh, uh, what was it, Mr. Good Morales Kid, Mad City to Pimple Butterfly? How long and, was and that? So between, if you go from Good Kid, Mad City to Pimple Butterfly, and then from that to Damn, and from Damn to Mr. Morale, it wasn't six years. It was maybe like three or four. But for most public recording artists, that's a long time yeah, to do absolutely think, nothing. Oh, no, no, but no, but here's the thing. I wouldn't say he he did absolutely nothing because, but to, I I understand because my understanding is between, uh, a uh, good kid, Mad City to to Pepper Butterfly, he was on a couple features uh in no, between no. that. No, and okay, then, no, so Mr. Benson, I think you're missing what I'm saying. Like, like, uh, yeah, he he's done a few features like Maroon Five, Taylor Swift, stuff like that. He's yeah. done features, but like as a recording artist, oh, so like, okay. outside of a handful of features, I'm not talking like. Lil Wayne features where you do one every other week. I mean, like Kendrick Lamar features was like maybe once or twice a year, yeah. and then we get yeah. no album for you for like three or four years. Most people think like, why does why the fuck is he not involved with the rest of the industry? Most people has always had a thought about him because he's Bro. clearly not. He's True. clearly not involved with a lot of people in the industry. He's mm -hmm. clearly not. 
He's not trying to do songs with Lil Baby or the Baby, even though they popping. He's not trying to do songs with Jay Z or all these. He's he's not. He, he he's clearly not tried. He's on a label with 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 Shady and Dre. He's not even like he 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 clearly keeps to himself. And he True. might pop well, out. Well, he a, did say on a little track, track uh, he that he is an to. introvert, but not an extrovert. True, but yeah, also he doesn't, he doesn't have to. When no, Kendrick also drops something, go, true. it's something you can think about for a while. It's something you can digest. It's something you can fucking like. It takes a minute to like fucking see. Living, in. Yeah. Kendrick well, shit is shallow pop hits with like R and B hip hop fucking hooks. Like it is formulaic. It's catchy as shit. I'm not trying to shit mm-hmm. on nobody. Like he makes music for people that like that kind of music, but. As has been pointed out, it's not just him, it's a whole team. That's the shit about mm-hmm. Drake that I hate the most. Is it's not just one dude, and yeah. everybody knows it now. But like, also, but I want to say, well, I guess I want to the reason why I was I was discussing the timing, because my understanding of the reason why it took so long for Mr. Burrell to come out was because Damn and the Black Panther soundtrack came out almost a year apart from each other. He was working on both of those albums at the same time. Raise my hand. Well, there's a between the Black Panther soundtrack, which is something he's doing commercially, working with other people, and then Damn, which is his own personal project. If you count his own True. personal project, there's years in between all of them. Years. Oh, okay. between all of them. Track, track. I got you. Like, like oh, and okay. but that's the thing with Kendrick. It's like he's clearly not interested in working with the industry in any way, shape, or form. He's clearly track. not interested. Like, like you can't even like so, deny that. He 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 just doesn't give a fuck. About working with the industry, he like he's like, nah, I'm gonna be over here, and I'm gonna be doing this, and please leave me the fuck alone. And I, I feel like he's been saying that for years, like leave me alone, bro, leave hey, me the fuck alone. Anything. And the reason why I think he's like that is I think when Kendrick first got into the industry, I think he's seen some shit. I think people tried to proposition him to do some shit, and he, that immediately turned him off. He was like, nah, I don't want none. I don't want nothing to do with none of this. And and, and then probably he just stayed quiet about it. You know, like if you listen, like I said, you to the six sixteen in L.A. He was like, I, I don't even really want to go here. I don't even really want to mm-hmm. even start talking about this shit. I really don't. But I'm about to do it because this nigga done pissed me off. So God, please forgive me because what I'm about to do is not holy, and I don't even live this way. Mm-hmm. I don't do this shit. I don't bully people. I'm not. I'm not. You know. You know. And like that's what he was literally saying in the first half of the song. He was like, I'm, but I'm about to. I'm about to go off, and now he's not stopping. Bro, I what Kendrick did to Drake was the most disrespectful thing ever. Drake came out with Meet the Family in 21 Man, minutes. No, family later. matters. Family 20, matters. Um, yeah, my bad. Yeah, Family Matters. And 21 minutes later, 21 minutes later. No one's even talking about Family Matters. He dropped Meet <laughs> the Grams. Drake came out with a song called Family Matters. And he came out 21 minutes later with Meet the Grams. And, and in the song before that, he told Drake, hey, you might want to reevaluate who you got in your circle, bro. Trust me, a lot of niggas don't like you and they want to see you fall. And how you know they don't work for me, bro? I'm, I'm, I'm warning you. Leave me the fuck alone. He said these metaphors didn't reach you, so now I got to go a little bit harder. Like, uh, Let's get into the song. Let's get into the song. Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Let's get into the song. Let's get into the song. Let's let, let's go through this song real quick because it's a six-minute yeah. song. So hold yeah, on. Go ahead. We're about to do start it over because Valen joined us. So let's do I'm, this. I'm only yeah. going to try to say pause. I'm only gonna try to say pause on the really, really hard. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's try to limit the pauses. Let's get through the whole song. All yeah, right. I got you. Yeah. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father. Let me be honest. It takes a man to be a man. Your dad is not responsive. I look at him and wish your grandpa were the world condom. I'm sorry that you gotta grow up and then stand behind them. Life is hard, I know. The challenge is always go beat us home. Sometimes our parents make mistakes that affect us until we grown. And you're a good kid that need good leadership. Let me be your mentor, since your daddy don't teach you shit. Never let a man piss on your legs, son. Either you die right there or pop that man in the head, son. Never fall in the escort business, that's bad religion. Please remember, you could be a bitch even if you got bitches. Never code switch, whether right or wrong. You're a black man, even if it don't benefit your goals. Do some push-ups, get some discipline. Don't cut them corners like your daddy did. Fuck what Ozempic did. Don't pay to play with them Brazilians. Get a gym membership. Understand, don't I'm sorry. I, I really, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's like this is a fucking murder, right? 
It's First evil. Off, this is evil. Talking to the man's son. Let's get that out the way. Hey. <laughs> he he wrote, he wrote he's not even talking son. to him yet. He's <laughs> talking to his son. Then <laughs> y'all know that the story that say Drake got surgical abs. Yeah, yeah. He got BBL. He's telling him like, don't be like your daddy. Go get a gym membership. Go do some push-ups. Which is funny because Drake released a, a song called Push Up. Push up. Y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. No, I the no, second, I love like, the part where he said he said go makes he said don't yeah. don't hook up with those Brazilians. I'm like, no, nah, not Brazilian. <laughs> <laughs> not <baby. laughs> I'm, it's, All right, it's, continue, oh. continue, continue, because we gotta get through the song. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, this is hard. That's law. Don't be ashamed about who you with. That's how he treats your moms. Don't oh. have a kid to hide a kid to hide again, be sure. Five percent will comprehend, but ninety-five is lost. Be proud of who you are. Your strength come from within. A lot of superstars, that's real. But your daddy ain't one of them. And you nothing like him. You'll carry yourself as king. Can't understand me right now. Just play this when you're 18. <laughs> Somebody said that shit to my kid. Man. Hey, no. son got some habits. I hope you don't need to mind them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this time. If you a woman, so you mm. know how it feels to be in the line. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm listening. I, I can't even like <laughs> wait. Son. This is mama. Hey. You want to hey. talk about mama. His mama. Yeah, he's talking about mama. Yeah. mama. He said, wanna hey. talk about mama. Man, you know, he's not talking <laughs> about his mother, he's talking to, he's talking his, mother. to his mother. Yeah, that, that's different. Like, that's, that's different. This is different. Like, hey, yo, I don't even hey, know yo. how to say this. Like, this shit yo. is fucking so surgically done, yo, no Val. words are wasted. And it's Man. like, oh my god, the layers. Yo, this Val. is why I like Kendrick because that dude, yeah, yo, Val, I need to get this out. I know you have a kid. I can only imagine what it must like must what it must be like to have oh, a no, hold on. No, I'm not even gonna let Valen answer this. I'm about to answer this. You mentioned <laughs> my fucking child, you die. No, I don't, no like, you're not the kid. No, hold on, listen. <laughs> you mentioned my child. You, you, no, to your if, child. If the first if the first goddamn words you speak in your it's track God. is dear, insert name of my child in the first mm -hmm. verse, and then the first word you speak in your second verse is dear. Insert the name of my mama. This is no longer a rap beef, bro. This is no longer a who can rap better than who type altercation. It's oh, funny like, you said that. It's funny like you said it's, that because he addresses it's, that. It is it's like funny you said that. this is now this is went from yeah, I'm getting surgical knuckle implants yeah. and I'm fighting somebody. Like and here's, the thing, and here's, the thing, yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think Kendrick hey. should do it. I think Kendrick's I'm vindicated and do it. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I gotta say, Boxing match. Kendrick is vindicated in doing this. I think Kendrick needs to do this. I think er if everything Kendrick is saying about Drake in this track is the truth, it <laughs> needs to come to light, and Drake needs to go down, so like, like, like 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 P Diddy went down, like the <laughs> Dittler went down. It's time for P Drizzy to go down. It is. <laughs> but with that being said, if I was P Drizzy. That's what I'm calling a nigga from now on. Light skinned P. Drizzy. <laughs> P. Drizzy. Yeah, I would feel some kind of way. I don't. If, okay, like, you don't I, get I a diss an on me, but you're not I even dissing me. You you talking to like my mommy. Hey, 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 I know. Hey, Soul's mom. Hey, your son's a piece of shit. Like, how did hmm. you raise this That's nigga? what I'm, I'm saying. Like, like, he's not even disrespecting my family, technically. You know what I mean? Like, he's just like, your daddy ain't shit. Your son's a bitch. Your husband's a pussy. Like he's no, going down the that, line. No, but what made no, but what made it harder for me is the fact that when he says, he says, respect women. Don't be like your be father. Like your mom. Respect yeah. your mama. I'm like, hey, and hey, you know what's crazy about that? You know what's the crazy thing? People don't realize this. That's the only time Kendrick mentioned Adonis' mom, which means even Kendrick realizes. She's not part of the Grams, yeah. Because no. Drake doesn't acknowledge her. No, Jesus. This is, let, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Like, no. What did he say? Uh, he say? He say? He say? He's like, don't. What did he say about something like don't don't be afraid to be seen in public with a woman, something like that? Because that's yeah, why don't he be afraid your mama. to be in public with your mom, unlike your dad with your mom. Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, wow. So even Kendrick, he's just straight up acknowledging your dad don't even fucking respect your mama. No, or worse, he was like, "Don't, don't." Uh, also, another bar that I love is when he's like, 
Don't remember you're a black man first, son. Don't go around walking. Don't walk around like you not like your dad does. I'm like, don't walk <laughs> around like your dad. Well, let's, okay, Adonis let's bring that back. No, we're we gonna bring it back. Oh, we're gonna bring it back. Hold on, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, I know, hey, I know this is the most disrespectful ship in hip hop history. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. Let's, let's hold on. Wait, wait. All right, the all right, thing we... is, simultaneously, this is also the most respectful ass whooping I've ever seen in hip hop. Oh, because Kendrick's a oh, good guy. He, like, I know this he, shit he comes off as like, evil and sinister. I know it comes off that way, but Kendrick's the good guy. Remember that. Well, if you see it, the way this is done, he's not actually mean to the son. He's not mean to the mama. He, he doesn't he seem like he's like like mean to anybody. Yeah. He but talking he's to talking like to everybody Denzel. like he's yeah. not in the fucking room. You know what I mean? Like he's talking about him in front of him. Right. So, Valen, would you would you dirty. would you say K dots like he's he's like the dark hero? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. when you said the quiet kid in the class, that was like ap- that was apropos as shit because he is the dude. He's he's quiet. He doesn't need to speak for himself because what he does is spoken for him. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't need to fucking be loud. The equalizer and- scene. Yep. So let me, let me bring yeah. it back to like I know we didn't we not gonna cover this song, but there was another verse. Um, I think it was six sixteen in L.A. Or, or was it Euphoria? I don't know. Kendrick's dropping way too much in the last like three days. But well, like, bro, but, like uh, he, he had a bar where he told Drake he was like, "Yeah, it was funny until you put your your, your dudes in the street to got to, to try to get dirt on me, but they came back with no receipts." Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that I love my piece. And he was like, "You don't have nothing on me. You don't got yeah. shit, dude. There's nothing you can say about me. There's nothing." <laughs> You don't have nothing, but I know so much about you. Because it's been 10 years in the making, bro. It's <laughs> also you to wonder what Kendrick know about Cole. Because Cole was like, mm, nope. No, no, but honestly, no. Well, that that makes me Cole. believe that Cole had nothing wrong with him. And Kendrick wasn't interested in a, I can rap better than you battle. He was like, no, if I'm doing this, I'm taking Drake down. I'm <laughs> taking him down. You know what I mean? Like, I, like I, Cole, I definitely there's this nothing, there's nothing to say about presented it. itself. So I'm taking it. Like this yeah. is the chance. This is the chance. This is the you, time. You know what yeah. this reminds me of? Hey, yo, yo, uh, yo, soul. I'm gonna say something that is is apropos to you. What what J Cole is going through is. Do you remember when you and uh Theory were beefing and I was Theory's friend? And the <laughs> moment I saw you beefing, I'm like, I'm gonna step out of it because I literally have no <laughs> beef with either one of you. <laughs> Well, exactly. also that, and you don't really want me to start beefing with you, like you right. don't. You exactly. don't, like, you don't Lord, like, no, like, you, but but it wasn't like out of fear. It was just out of I really don't have any. Listen, hold on, let me say something about Brandon Theory. <laughs> let me let me go ahead and say something real quick because I haven't said this in years. I said nothing because I didn't have to. I don't have to sit here and beef with a skinny ass. Glasses wearing, no muscle having, Hello Kitty necklace wearing, fucking My Little Pony backpack wearing, no bitches getting. Oh my god! Listen, you lucky, you 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 lucky. I, I said and did song, nothing. Bro. Let's focus on the song. <laughs> you you, you, nah, you lucky. Nah. I said and did nothing. Yeah. That's it. That's all I gotta say. Like like because and it was so because and I was Jay Cole in the situation. You nail painting, fucking black nail polish wearing. Skinny jeans having, but I'm still trying to sag looking ass motherfucker. Anorex. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. Let me stop. Bitch ass, how ass, trick ass, punk ass, weak ass, fag ass, nigga. I whoop the child. You how ass. Like, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I could do this for hours. I Yo, could. keep the song going. So I, I got, I don't mean to. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, yeah right. let, let, hold on, hold on. Yeah, we keeping the song going. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah. Nice talk. Nice song. talk to Sandra. Sandra Graham, by the way. I'm sorry. Why are you in? Why are you getting pulled into this? I'm sorry. Can we all shout out Sandra Graham right now? Shout out to her. <laughs> shout out to her and the dad. Like they ain't. Nah, fuck that nigga. Why? <laughs> Keep playing the song. Nah, fuck that. She facilitated a monster. She knows what she did. Keep playing. Mm. Dear Sandra, your son got some habits. I hope you don't undermine them. Especially with all the girls that's hurt inside this climate. You a woman, so you know how it feels to be in alignment. With emotions, hoping the man can see you and not be blinded. Dear oh. Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator. Oh. And using you to prove mm. who he is is a huge favor. I think you should ask for more paper. And more- okay, I'm making a quick stop. Mm. Nobody say anything. It's a quick stop. He's using you to to prove who he is as a huge favor. 
the fact that his dad is black, even though, and, and I will say this about, I, I always say this about Drake. Drake wants so hard for everybody to believe that he's just like American black people. Nigga, you are not. You are a Canadian black. You are not the same as us. You, you like, it's just like you're you're not. You did not grow up in my environment. And, and, and this is coming from soul. You all know I hate when people talk like this about systematic oppression and all this other shit, but at, uh, there is some level of truth to it. You did not grow up like us. You do not grow up in the ghettos like us. You do not grow up in the hood like us. You do not experience what we experience. Your ancestors are not from the fucking South. You are not like Actually, us. <clears throat> before you, the, ju- I, I didn't mean to time that one out. As a matter of fact, the Freedom Trail ended in Toronto. That's where Harry Tubman was taking people. In Canada, so there is a little bit of that. Just to, and, and with that being said, that doesn't apply saying. to Drake. <laughs> no, this does apply to Drake because Drake's dad is from Memphis, but you are not. You are from Toronto. You grew up in Toronto. You are a motherfucking Canadian. So, like Kendrick said, I hate it when you say nigga. Why are you saying that? You are not us. You are not like I. I, I swear to, God, I hate this motherfucker. I hate Drake. I, I swear to God. Like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trailing off no more. But I had to let that. I had to get that out. I hate this motherfucker, bro. I really do. I hate how. I hate who he pretends to be. I hate that he pretends to be one of us. You're not. You're not like us. You did not grow up like us. I grew up in the hood. I saw dead bodies. I was around dope dealers and and D boy. I was around all of it. And even though I didn't walk that lifestyle, I still had to live around it. And I hate the fact that you pretend. Like like you're a part of it when you know you aren't. You are a fucking Canadian. Stay in your fucking lane. I hate this motherfucker, bro. I really do. I hate him. I hate him so much. But let's keep going. All right, bring it back. I had. To, I just had. I just had to get that off my chest. Right, I hate. You gonna release nigga, the Drake diss track, nigga? <laughs> I, I, I really Metro Boom and say anybody who who drops the dopest Drake, Drake Drake diss track gets a gets a free beat for me. So like, <laughs> and he said just just hashtag him on Twitter and he'll give you a free beat. I might just drop a fucking. Let, let me stop. I'm focused on some other dude right now. Let me see what he gonna do in the next couple of days. Blinded, dear Dennis, you gave birth to a master manipulator. He been using you to prove who he is is a huge favor. I think you should ask for more paper and more paper and more uh, more paper. I'm blaming you for all his gambling addictions, psychopath intuition, the man that like to play victim. You raised a horrible fucking person. The nerve of you, Dennis. Sandra, sit down. What I'm about to say is heavy. Now listen. <laughs> Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest of their life. He hates black women, hypersexualize them with kinks of an info fetish. Grew facial hair because he understood being the beard just fit him better. He got- <laughs> before, before we keep going. Oh my God. <laughs> before we keep going, Kata Curry, how you feeling? Uh, be completely honest, I really don't understand <clears throat> any of this because I have <laughs> pretty much no I, I stay I pretty much stay out of all news. No so. no no just just from the information you receive how you feel I, well uh I mean just from what I've been hearing uh even my little rant five seconds ago <laughs> <laughs> like You mean, okay, that, sorry, I'm scatterbrained right now. I apologize. Um, I'm going to ask you a, a stupid question to help me. Uh, Ain't no stupid questions, Cat. You my homie. You it's, my nigga, bro. It, it's probably just, you it's my probably nigga, and I'm your Caucasian. You, you my, <laughs> it's probably just a stupid autism thing for me, but... Uh, you my little bro. Um, not an insult to other people that have autism, by the way. Um when uh, when you ask my thoughts, you mean like in regards to the to what's just, being said in the in the track? Do you mean yeah, yeah, like what, what Kendrick is saying, kind of so far what you've heard? Like he just told Drake, I, I think this nigga should die. Like just like Harvey Weinstein, I don't like if, it, if it's that bad. I, I mean Z Z Boy, uh, I think told me gave me a little more insight into it based on what he was saying. I said if that's true, Drake's ass needs to be locked up. What he told me, I don't, I don't know if so, that's true or not. But if there is truth in that, what I heard or what's bro's been texting Millie Bobby Brown since she was fifteen. Like I miss you, boo. Wait, bro, he's been texting he, Millie Bobby Brown since he was fifteen. Drink. He's oh, been man. kissing, he's been kissing underage girls on stage. He's been doing a oh, lot of right. shit, bro. Yeah, 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 a I'm lot of shit. That, 
That but man needs to be in freaking the jail. Industry, the industry is going to protect this man. because No, they're not. Okay. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, cuz I'm going to say right now, you're wrong about that. I mean, on, on the surface, yeah, they'll protect him. But because, I mean, but so this is the hip hop industry, right? But look what happened mm -hmm. to the actor industry. The female actresses got fed up and they had enough of it. And then they started Me Too and they got all them niggas out of there. They got rid of all of them. How long before the female musical artist gets fed up and they're like, yo, let's get rid of these motherfuckers. Even, even Cardi B was on stream and I can't believe this is happening. I'm looking at the camera. I well, can't believe I'm sitting here agreeing with Cardi B and taking her side. But when, when you get to the part where even Cardi B is like, hey, they're doing too much. Y'all hoeing too much. Y'all trying to be hoes too much. Y'all got no respect for yourselves. All this is happening. These niggas are doing this and that to y'all and they pimping y'all out and all this. It's like, yo, what is going on? Why y'all doing that? But I'm not trying to slut shame y'all, but like, what the fuck is going on when Car when it gets to the point where Cardi B is saying this? Well, but Cardi's a little different because Cardi was doing stuff was was she wasn't even promoting a lifestyle. She was talking about lived experiences that she had. She had to go out. No, there and do but you can't say that because she promoted the lifestyle. Her, well, Nigga of. the Stallion, City Girls, um, sure. Glorilla, all these other females. Ever since Nicki came out with Anaconda, the momentum shift. When we sure. all we we're all around the same age. When we grew up, we had Mary J. Blige, Alicia yeah, yeah. Keys, Ashanti. Yeah. We had uh Eve, Queen yeah, Latifah. Yeah, we yeah, had yeah, all talk so yeah, much yeah. shit about Lil' yeah. Kim. Mm. And, and, yeah. And, and don't, and yeah. Don't, how did you forget Kim, how, how Foxy Brown all the way Kelly. down the line? Yeah, we had, we had but, but, but hold on, this is the point I'm making. Look, we went from Ashanti, Alicia Keys, Mary J. Blige, um, um, Mary, Mary, uh, fucking, we, 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 we from all these beautiful, FWV, strong, independent women FWV, who they might have made one or two FWV, songs yeah, about. about get... you know, that's what I'm saying. They might have made one or two songs about like sex and stuff like that. But they were talking about having sex for like with they man, and then it and then Lil Kim kind of started the shift, and then Nikki took it all the way to fuck up here, right? And then now it wasn't, it wasn't like, just Lil Kim, it was Lil Kim, Trina, Kaya. There yeah, was yeah, a, yeah, yeah, no, but that doesn't take that 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 away from my point. Like that doesn't take my that doesn't take from my that doesn't take away from my point where <laughs> these the, Lil Kim, Trina, all these people, and then Nikki, Nikki really shot it through the roof. And then when Nikki shot through the roof, we're like it's, it was really with Anaconda what set it off. And then when when Cardi, City Girls, Megan, Glorilla, all these people took it over, and then they started going way overboard with it to where it became the popular culture for young women to grow up and want to be hoes. That's what okay happened, with. right? That's what happened. Just like when um when when the other rappers <laughs> came out like. In like the early 2000s and 2010s, and it was like, I want to be a drug dealer. That's what happened. Yeah, they did it to the men and they did it to the women. So what I'm you saying when is everybody like, wanted to get shot nine times. Remember when yeah, 50 yeah. Came out? <laughs> when every, after 50 Cent came out, everybody wanted to get shot, right? So what's happening now is when you even get to the point where even Carly, Cardi, who was complicit, she was complicit. She promoted this. She made WAP. You can't take that away. I'm sorry, Cardi. You can't take it away. You did this. This is what you did. You promote your the first line in your verse on motorsport was ride a dick like a BMX. You can't take it away. I'm not okay, letting man. you take it away. You can't take it away. You did this. So now that we're here. And now even you are coming out. It's like, I think you young ladies are doing too much. Hold up, bitch. You're the reason. They look up to you. You're the queen of the hoes. They love you. But 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 look, you know, listen. You know what's crazy? Hey, real quick. Even, hey, real quick. Yeah, hey, right right oh, hey, oh, Young Prince speak. Oh, thank God Young, young Prince jumped in this bitch because he ain't say nothing yet. Yeah, no, I was letting, I was letting y'all speak. You know, Cat Curry was Cat Curry was like talking and shit, so I didn't want to. But y'all can y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah. We we didn't know you were alive. Like y'all can hear me? No, no, no. I'm yeah. here. I was. Is this is this thing going? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah it is. This thing. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah it's on. No, I was um, no, I was dealing with some. One of my homies was. I was talking with him. Like as soon as this stream started, he called me and you know priorities and shit. So I had to, I, I you know. Renegade had all, all right, nigga, come on, let's go. He had me. Yeah. All right, yeah, all right come on. No, what are you about to say? You were about to say? I'll slap the fuck out. No, you, I was bro. just <laughs> making sure my mic. I was just making sure my mic was working. But I agree with you wholeheartedly. Like it doesn't. But, but you know, I, I guess my issue with it is is that that is, isn't that kind of the idea of it? Like you don't watch fucking Avengers and and be like, yo, I'm gonna go be a fucking superhero. Like you know what I'm saying? And I get that. 
people and children are impressionable and shit, but like you have to understand that this is just a it's a facade. Art. Like there's a level. No, of I'm gonna argue game. with you on this one right here, real, real quick, real press. Because you might say, yeah, I don't watch Avengers and decide I'm gonna be a superhero. But what I do watch is I watch Avengers and I be like, man, the way Iron Man sacrificed his life to save everybody. I want to believe I'll do that one day. The way Captain America says, I don't like bullies. I don't care where they're from. I want to believe in that. I want to be like that. The way Spider-Man is like, yeah. the great power comes with possibility. I want to follow that. I want to be that way. So those people do have influences on me because these characters, the way yeah. the way, the way Bruce Wayne is, the way Clark Clint, Clark Clint is, the way all these other superheroes yeah. are, directly inf- affected the way my personality is right now because I believe in a moral yeah, high ground and the greater good because of them. Yeah. So to say that like Cardi or Megan or whatever has no effect and on these the girls are behave. changing. No, no, I'm not. No, wait, just wait, a minute, that too. Saying, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. To say that that Cardi or Megan, whoever the fuck these females are, or or all these other drug rappers out like like Lil Baby or whatever the fuck has no effect on the way people think and behave. I think. Oh no, a, they do. It's no, a, they I'm do. not saying that. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that they don't have an effect. But at the end of the day, we. I mean, it's not like. You're saying like, oh well, Cardi, it's your fault. But at the same time, like, where are these, where are these fucking people's parents and shit? Like, nigga, like you said, we grew, we we grew up around fuck shit, but we didn't grow into fuck niggas. Like, I saw, I saw drug. No, that wasn't my point. My point was we didn't you know? grow up around fuck shit, not in our <laughs> age. I mean, we I didn't. definitely, I get we definitely it. Saw, we definitely if you saw bring it down, you know then you're no, no, not, about not to the level it is right now. Generation. Damn sure we did. Ashanti wasn't like this. Mary J. Blige wasn't like this. Alicia Keys yeah. wasn't like this. So Mary, Mary wasn't right. like this. But, they but, talking they, about. But listen, but listen, listen though. Still, even though, but look, even with the music that we grew up with and the influences we had, we still didn't do that shit because our parents was on our ass. Like our parents, like yo, don't don't be don't be going out there doing stupid shit. So, no, no, I don't smoke like, right. No, I don't smoke cigarettes today, not because of cancer, but because I'm afraid that my mom will catch me with a right hook and left uppercut. Still also, to this day. To be fair, yeah, yeah, okay, but hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Be a black Madonna. Saying, so it's like, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Balance. These, these balance. Artists, I'm, artists, wait. Young Press. Young Press. Young Press. These artists definitely have an influence. Young Press. Yo, hold on. Wait. I'm gonna come on. Let Valen jump in. Yeah. But I just want to say this before Valen jumps in. I'm you're right. Up. You're right. And Mr. Bennington, you're right. Yeah, I didn't want to get beat my parents, but my parents. If you're if you're a child now, your parent was born after the year 2000, which means they didn't grow up what we grew up on. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is just the reality of it. So our parents didn't grow up like new age parents are growing up right now. Our parents did not grow up like that. So it was like they're saying, well, where are their parents at? Well, look what their parents were raised on. Like you have to just look at it. Like you have to be objective and look at it like that. Yeah, I put it like this. If you're if you are if you are if if you were born the year two thousand, your mom was dropping it for a nine nine and two thousand. <laughs> your mama was backing that ass up for a nine nine two thousand. Yeah, your mom was listening to Juvenile. Your mom was listening to Juvenile. You know what I mean? And but here's yeah. another thing: it was, it was like that one thing that went viral. I don't know if you all saw this about that ballet teacher who went viral because she has a bunch of five and six year old girls oh, in yeah. the classroom, and she's oh, yeah, literally that. crying on camera because I'm trying to teach these young girls ballet. But they're screaming and yelling at me, and they don't listen, and they don't want to follow directions, and they ask me when I'm gonna play Pound Town, and because they want to twerk. And these are five year old girls, and she's like, "What the fuck is happening?" And I try to talk to the parents. I'm like, "Your daughter doesn't want to listen. She doesn't want to stand in her designated spot. She doesn't want to follow the the routine, and she just wants to listen to Pound Town." And then her mama snap at me. He's like, "Well, obviously she don't want to do it, bitch. You're paying me to teach your daughter ballet, but she don't want to listen to me. What the fuck is happening?" This is not how any of us grew up. Any uh, of us. Funny yeah, anecdote. Yeah, it's you're like, I feel like you're sort of the so same mom, thing that happened to little white Sorry, girls in the ahead, 80s because of Madonna. True. Little white girls started humping everything in sight, trying to be Madonna and all this shit. But there was no, um, at, at the time, uh, black female artists understood the weight that they carried for representation. You know what I mean? There wasn't too many of them. You know what I mean? That's just a, a fact of the matter. They were carrying a very hard fought legacy. You know what I mean? Back from like Big Mama Johnson and shit, like way fucking back when there was nobody, and they understood that. Now it's it's a flooded field. So there's the the dignity has slowly and very easily, quickly been stripped from the presentation of the, the female, female black I feel like this, it is I it's it rough is to say because of my complexion yeah. no no you you have every right to say whatever the fuck your opinion is <laughs> you're in my stream 
So I, I don't. I, I don't, don't want to ever, ever hear that shit ever <laughs> again in my stream. This is not that kind of stream. You can say whatever the <laughs> fuck your opinion is, because everybody in here respect you. Don't ever say no shit like that ever again. Um, Mr. <laughs> Benetton, I'll let you go real quick. When Young Prez wanted to say something, we got to get back to this reaction. Okay. No, I was saying, yeah. but and I was oh, saying that um that there's that you can make a you can make an argument that there that there's a that due to the influx there there has been dignity stripped away. But I don't think it's so much that the dignity has been stripped away. I think it's a matter of what we focus on. And I think uh, 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 what I mean by that is Success. there are th there are plenty plenty of rap chicks who don't take off their clothes. There are plenty of uh, of, of R and B chicks. Shout out Young Sam. Shout out Soda Product. The pro the problem yeah. is those things don't get pro those uh those of things don't not. get promoted. So who but who are we upset with? This goes back to what I said before. Are we upset with the rapper or are we upset with the consumer? But well, because the moment that we get no, but the reason why I say I'm more upset with the consumer is because the consumer directly dictates what the rappers do. The rappers create a product. If no one buys yeah. the product, they either change the product or go out stop. No, that's or, not hundred percent true, Mister Benson, because there's a lot of rappers right now who who, who has an audience. It's because very yeah. few things are hundred percent true in this particular dynamic. That that's like, also true. But I'm saying there's a lot of rappers that have a great product, product and people want to consume their product, but they can only reach so many people because they try to present themselves to the mainstream, to the mass audience, and they get they get road guarded. They get they was like, nah, we don't want you right now. We're look, we're looking for bad bitches with BBLs and hoes. We don't want the conscious female rapper right now, so we're not going to produce you. We're not going to sign you. We're not going to blow you. Sexy Red blew up over in in like a week, bro. Not because so, he was good, because they wanted it. Pregnant. Like it was a, that. That is a weird ride. I'm not even Bro, gonna lie. But, but no, that. you have to understand it. Sex and Red blew up in like a week. Not because she was good, because they wanted her to. It doesn't matter how good she actually is. If they play her music nonstop everywhere on every app on every radio station, and they artificially put her around other celebrities, it doesn't matter. She's going to blow up. It doesn't matter. And on that note, me being here in St. Louis. I can't stand her because that's all they play here. Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> we gotta get song. I, got, yeah. I don't mean Okay, to... hold on. Yeah. But let's let's, let's go keep ahead, this yeah. going. Let's keep this going because because um Valentine, 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 we got like we only went through like half the song and Kendrick's not done killing this motherfucker. <laughs> Taking us like an hour to watch two minutes <laughs> twenty two. I know, I know, but like it's it's such a deep conversation though, right? Guys, it is. like am I, yeah, you're like Hit All right, it. okay, let's let's go, let's go, let's go. Hit Hold it. on, I just want to say, yeah. I don't know if he even said this yet. Nigga, I was trying to say something. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, this bar. Wait, sex offenders on OVO. That that bar before that being a beard just fits him better. Does anybody know what the, the terminology of a beard means? I mean, it's sure a gay do. dude who, who it's a gay dude who presents himself as a man. P Drizzy. He hides mm -hmm. the P Drizzy. Hold on, let's let's go, let's go, let's go. Or, or it's um, a straight man that dates gay women so that they're not, like, so that they're not judged. Yeah. Be Drizzy. But it's, Drizzy. Yeah. 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 Black women hypersexualize with kicks of an info fetish Grew facial hair because he understood being a beard just fit him better He got sex offenders on OVO that he keep on a monthly allowance And a child should never be Okay, I'm not going to stop it again, but like that's a fact Drake has two sex offenders signed to his label They're registered sex offenders He does I'm just on Okay, let's keep it going Compromise and he keeping his child around him And we gotta raise our daughters knowing there's predators like him lurking Fuck a rap battle, he should die so all of these women can live with a purpose I've been oh. in this industry 12 years Okay, I'm sorry, I know I said that was the last time I'm pausing But how do y'all feel about Kendrick outright saying Drake needs to die? Like, how do y'all feel about this? Is this like too much for like a, a diss track? I don't oh. think I, I, I Oh, wait, 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 hold on, wait It's not too much yo, for hey, a yo, diss track puzzle, Because it's, puzzle. it's, 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 it's yeah. No, wait, 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 Cuzzo, Cuzzo, what you saying? What you one saying, of two things. Either he really wants Drake to physically die, or he wants the character of Drake to die. Like, he doesn't yeah, want the to, to even be associated with this man, Drake. So now he's, like, talking to the family members saying, like, your son made this character. That's not who he is. I'm going to tell you who he is. So that's why he meet the Grams. So are you, are, is this you, are, okay. I don't. I want to understand what you're saying. Do I think Kendrick really wants Drake to actually die? Yeah, Aubrey Graham. Does Kendrick want Aubrey Graham to die, or does he want the idea of Drake to die? I think it's a little bit of both, especially if these allegations come true. 
<laughs> mm. I I think it, I think it's more I think it's more on the idea I think it's more on the idea of uh the idea of Drake. I think the character of Drake has to die because I think because I got from this song that maybe because and I once again I could be wrong, but I get the impression from this song that Aubrey is a very different person from Drake. Drake has has uh, as rap has uh, sex offenders signed to his label. Drake has is not taking care of his son. Drake disrespects his son's mother. Drake is not the man that you guys raised. Drake is not the son that Dennis wants. Drake is not the the son that Sandra raised. Aubrey is a very different person. Hmm. There's That's a kind of crazy coming from a man who's like so against fresh and free, but now, okay, now, 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 okay, play. All right, play. Oh, oh, wait, wait a minute. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do because we're taking too damn long. Yeah, we're playing the rest of the song with no interruptions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. That's yeah. gonna be hard, especially. I'm telling no, you, no, no, Cuzzo. Hey, Cuzzo, I told you, Cuzzo. We you got, got a private mic. chat. Wait, Type that shit out. So wait, like, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, wait a minute, Cuzzo. I told you, you got the mic. If you say stop, we stop. But we're gonna try to play with no interruptions. You, you got me, Cuzzo. Gotcha. Okay. I, I'm gonna yeah. save it for the end. I'm gonna save it for the end. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna tell y'all one little secret. It's some weird shit going on, and some of these artists be here to police it. They be streamlining victims on the side of their home and calling them tender. Then leak videos, set themselves to further push their agendas. To any woman that be playing this music, know that you're playing your sister. Or better yet, selling your niece to the weirdos, not the good ones. Cat Williams, I give you the truth, so I'ma get mine. The embassy about to get ready to too. It's only a matter of time. Hey, LeBron, keep the family away. Hey, Curry, keep the family away. To anybody that embody the love for their kids, keep the family away. They looking at you too if you're standing by him. Keep the family away. I'm looking to shoot through any pervert that lives. Keep the family safe. Dear baby girl, I'm sorry that your father not active inside your world. He don't commit to much but his music, yeah, that's for sure. The narcissist misogynist living inside his songs Try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own Should be teaching you timetables or watching Frozen with you Or at your 11th birthday singing poems with you Instead he being Turks paying for sex and popping perks Examples that you don't deserve I want to tell you that you're loved, you're brave Bro, oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm sorry, I'm sorry. like bro <laughs> You're kind, you got a gift to change the world And to change your father's mind Cause our children is the future But he lives inside Confusion. Money's always been illusion, but that's the life he's used to. His father probably didn't claim him neither. History do repeats itself. Sometimes it don't need a reason. But I would like to say it's not your fault that he's hiding another child. Give him grace. This the reason I made Mr. Morale. So our babies like you can cope later. Give you some confidence to go through something. It's hope later. I never want to hear you chasing man because it's felt behavior. Sitting in the club with sugar daddies for validation. You need to know that love Love is eternity and trumps all pain. I tell you who your father is, just play this song when it rains. Yes, he's a hit maker, songwriter, superstar, right? And a fucking dead beat that should never say more life. Meet the grams. This is a nigga alone, bro. <laughs> okay, since you paused it. This nigga alone, bro. They should let this nigga alone, bro. Since you paused it. So bro, he's the, rapping. the baby girl he's, thing. This nigga, nigga rapping, bro. This nigga rapping. Cuzzle. Cuzzle, this nigga rapping, bro. He rapping. He like he 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 he, he, he rapping, bro. He's slow, <laughs> he's slow cooking him, man. He's slow cooking his to character. Put, he is. <laughs> if I can put this in anime terms, I feel like Drake gotta feel like Mizuki. The first time Naruto used the Shadow Clone Jutsu, hey, bro, he was ready for he was he thought he was ready for the fight, but he didn't realize what that fight was. Yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. That's, 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 Yo, hold on. Valen just gave the best analogy in the world. Like, yeah, this, this nigga like, oh, I'm a chunin. I could. I, oh yeah. Now it's like, you are you really sure you want to fight me, bro? Like, <laughs> I'll, no, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you one better. Do you remember? Because this, is how I feel like how Drake feels when. Itachi put uh, Kakashi in that uh, Sukuyomi. In the Sukuyomi, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, I give you one better than that. I give you one better than that. You remember when 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 Frieza went gold and the Vegeta showed up as Super Saiyan Blue and just beat his ass? <laughs> it was like it right. was just like ah, I'm sorry. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, we're not, we're not, we're not doing this. We're gonna get through it. There's one verse uh -huh. left. There's one, one verse left. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Wait, 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 before you play that, before you play that, you remember in the beginning you said, you do you feel like Kendrick took it too far adding the family members? Uh, that was a question. Nothing I don't said believe at the family members. Oh no, no, just no, no. I said he addresses it in this song. I didn't want to say when per se, but it's it, it's gonna be in this song. So go ahead and play. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me just say, bro, he, this shit left this nigga alone. Let this nigga stay inside, bro. No, why you, why you, why you made him come outside, bro? Why did you do it? <coughs> bro? Are you did stupid? It. Like I could have told you, don't fuck with you this dude. Stoop, man. Can't leave the stoop, bro. It, it, why did y'all? Why did y'all make him come outside? Like why did y'all do this? Like so, like it's like I don't even understand. Find, you about to find out. It's just it's oh my god, bro. This is. Drake deserves it. If everything is true, Drake deserves it. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, bro. Dear Harvey, I know you probably thinking I wanted to crash your party, but truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. Cap. Pause. 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 Cap. I think I hate you, bro. Do you remember Euphoria? I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk, yeah. I hate the way that you dress. Nah. Yeah. Listen. I'm cap, bro. Kendrick clearly hates this. Okay, I, I, I understand Kendrick saying he doesn't no, have no, no. hate and bone in his body, and I think I, that means in general, but for, but specifically okay. for you, that nigga hates you, bro. I disagree because look at look at how he says it. He says, "Dear Aubrey," he yeah, doesn't for, say, "Dear Drake." Yeah, it's for him. It's for who, who Aubrey Drake. Aubrey made Drake. He yeah. created Drake. He talking to the. The person, person behind the mask. He's talking to the person behind the mask. Drake yeah, is a so, mask. He's talking to a person behind the mask. Aubrey. You know, all these this is you, this are, Mr. Thing. Bennington. Mr. Bennington and uh and Cuzzo, are you are you saying that like it's not so much Kendrick Kendrick hates Aubrey? It's just he hates what he created. Yes. <laughs> he hates what he hates yeah. the character of Drake in the same way that I'm sure it it, 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 well, it wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. That's why he said you wait, wait, I have I have party. one thing to say to this though. What's up? So you already know who I am, cousin right. Mr. Bennington. You know who I am. I don't share my name publicly, but like you know who I am. Yes, sir. But mm -hmm. everybody also knows I'm also Soul, aka Soul yeah. for Super Villain, aka mm -hmm. King Soul the Young God Emperor, aka right. God's favorite AKA son, AKA, AKA Soul Shine Prime, aka all these other things. You know what I mean? Like you. Yeah. But but whether whether I say hey I'm Soul Shine Prime, I'm King Soul the Young God Emperor, I'm Soul for Super Villain, I'm Soul Fist, I'm Soul whatever. Whatever I refer to myself as, at the end of the day, I am still the actual person behind those personas because that person came up with those personas. Right. So how could you not hate me too? Well, because 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 a lot of times our personas are used to um. Used I tell you to exactly why my personas go, my personas you know, exist to 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 remove my own insecurities from my mind. If I'm being open and honest, that's the only okay. I'm hurt. Okay. No, I was saying that. A lot of people use their personas to indulge in behaviors, and uh, that they would never do otherwise. Very true. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like, and, I, and I'm going to use this as a very loose example, but I need you to follow me here, okay? Yeah. Bruce Wayne would never walk around town jumping off rooftops, kicking niggas in the face, and breaking and breaking uh, and breaking the arms of. Mm -hmm. uh, Bring an arms yeah, I, I get what he, you're saying. But he also, would never do that. I, 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 I get what you're Wait, hold on. Hold wait, on. wait, 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 hold on. Wait, because of, wait, it because would tarnish his image. Yes, no, it would wait, wait, yeah, cousin, cousin, cousin. I get because uh, I, I agree with you, cousin. But Mister Benson, I get what you're saying. But at the end of the day, I don't believe Bruce Wayne actually fucking exists. I think that nigga well, is Batman. I, I, I mean, once again, I was using it as a very loose example. Well, you know, but but this is what I'm saying. He thinks therefore I, I, I you think, are. He call he thinks of himself as Batman. He doesn't. True. Think of true, true, so. true. Okay. Maybe, maybe, are, and maybe, and maybe once again, I'm using it the wrong way, but I get, but you guys understand what I'm saying. That the person, I, like, if I was a super, if I was a superhero, you know that this person is not walking around town beating up people. However, my superhero persona would. So people would hate my superhero persona. Nigga, I'm just a nigga who, who, who pushes carts at, at Walmart. You can't hate me. <laughs> I would say more or less a Peter Parker. That's what I'm yeah, because that, that's the only thing I'm about to say. Because I get exactly oh, what Mister Minton is saying, but 
I guess Bruce Wayne is the wrong example because Bruce Wayne doesn't fucking exist. Only True. Batman. Is so, real. so, so, Bruce Wayne. Yeah, so like, if you look, Peter if you use like Peter Parker, Peter Parker is a real person. Um, or if you go the opposite direction, you look at Tony Stark. Tony Stark is Iron Man. There is right. no difference between. Okay, the two. as yeah. much as I would love to continue this conversation, yeah. we have like we we keep going in these two minute and twenty two second spurts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's go. But yeah. So, okay. Let's let's finish this up because Valen has to dip. Yeah, Valen has to dip. So let's yeah. hold on, wait, wait. Let's finish this up because it's almost over. So let's finish this up. Yeah. And then Valen's gonna Valen, how much time you got? Um <clears throat> technically one minute, but I can let's go, go. For like maybe okay, 30. Yeah. Let's, let's, so. let's, let's, let's run it, let's run this up. Let's run okay, this up. Yeah. Let's go. Supposed to be a good exhibit. Dear Hybrid, I know you probably thinking I wanted to crash your party. But truthfully, I don't have a hating bone in my body. It's supposed to be a good exhibition within the game. But you fucked up the moment you called out my family's name. Why you had to stoop so low to discredit some decent people? Guess integrity is lost when the metaphors doesn't reach you. And I like to understand, cause your house was never for a home. 37, but you showing up as a seven year old. You got gambling problems, drinking problems, pill popping and spending problems. Bad with money, poor house, soliciting women problems. Therapies are love start but i suggest some ayahuasca strip the ego from the bottom i try to empathize with you because i know that you ain't been through nothing crave entitlement but want to be like so bad that it's puzzling no dominance let's recap moments when you didn't fit in no secret handshakes with your friend no culture cachet to binge just disrespecting your mother identities on the fence don't know which family would love you the skin that you living in is compromised and personas can't channel your masculine even when standing next to a woman you a body shamer you go hide them baby mamas ain't you you embarrassed of them that's not right that ain't how mama raised us take that mask off i want to see what's under them achievements why well, believe you you never gave us nothing to believe in because you lied about religious views you lied about your surgery you lied about your accent and your past tense all is perjury you lied about your ghost riders you lied about your crew members they all pussy you lied on them i know they all got you in them you lied about your son you lied about your daughter huh you lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come you lied about the only artist that can offer you some help Fuck a rap battle. This a long life battle with yourself. <laughs> Jesus. Now hold on. I want everybody to shut up and let Valen speak because he can't stay long. Uh, uh, fuck. Hey, that was a fucking massacre. Like, there's no two ways <laughs> to put that. That is. That is such a complete breakdown on so many levels. But, like, fucking Christ. The fact that he straight up said, you don't want to bring this out of me, but you fucked up when you brought my family's name up. is, And then he literally doesn't disrespect his family at all. He's like, you came from my family, but I'm better than you. I'm going to destroy you through your family so they can see the real you. You know what I mean? Hmm. If I'm allowed to drop a bar, I guess. Yeah. Oh, um, ooh, Valen, preacher. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> but seriously, though, earlier. that shit, oh my God, it was, it, it was psychologically brutal. Like, you broke him down as a person and as a product. Do you understand what that takes to do that shit lyrically? It is, right. it, oh my God, it is a vocal catastrophe. Like, hmm. I don't even know what else to say. Like, hmm. Drake's soul is Chernobyl right now. That dude is hmm. just radiating. Not Chernobyl. Heat. Not Chernobyl. Yep. <laughs> God damn. Like, this is scorched earth policy. He said, we're leaving nothing unturned and we're gonna fucking, we're gonna show everybody exactly who you are because there's two things that don't stay hidden for long. That's the Lord's truth and sunlight. You know what I mean? <laughs> and oh, 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 yeah, that sun is shining bright on Drake right now. It's <laughs> so yeah, man. I, I I don't know if I got wisdom or any. We gotta get one of your before you go. We gotta get one of your like monologues. We we gotta uh, we gotta get one of those. We got to. <laughs> it's like all, right, all right. It's been a minute, so they're not like. Hold on, let Ready. me see if I can make you full screen. Let me see if I can. Oh, son of a bitch. Let me <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. 
Here we go. Come on. One of them battling monologues. Let me see if we can. All right. This is a classic example of people forgetting where they come from and wanting not only to forget that there is joy to be had and not having to have the fight to not understanding want. You know what I mean? But whether it be like, wasn't it King Vaughn, uh, T.I. son, or just that rapper, not the rapper, the basketball kid who all these kids coming up good, f- realizing that's what's been fought for. Like that life they have now, people have died for generations for them to have it. And to see like the exposure of Drake in that vein, to be like, listen, you can just be you. You don't have to be this caricature of what you think you're supposed to be because then who are you? You have to kill a part of you now because you've become this monstrous thing. That's essentially what Kendrick is more or less saying with, I want, you need to die. You know what I mean? You need to kill this monstrous part of you or Aubrey just isn't going to make it. And that's really like, a good lesson for everybody is you got to pay attention to which wolf you feed. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Captain Valen, can I can I clip that and upload that? You could do whatever <laughs> you want. <laughs> can, I, can I clip? Okay. All right. Hey, Captain Valen, I know you're about to bow out. I know you about to bow out. Thank you, social come through, but everybody, shout out to Captain Valen for coming through the stream, man. <laughs> this monologer in, in the community. This is yeah, the man. I once my kid gets into school, I'm gonna have like a couple hours. I'm gonna hit the gym and I'm gonna do some uh, some one piece stuff again. I think I'm gonna bring the vest back because you know, <laughs> oh, the vest, oh, the Valen vest, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, look, so, yeah, hey, Captain Valen. <laughs> note, um, just be I appreciate kind to you for, for coming through. Thank you for grace, like, thank you for coming through. I definitely appreciate it. I know you got real world shit to take care of. Trust me, I like putting my kids to sleep. Yeah, hell yeah, man! Yeah, like, you go ahead, you handle that. Thank you for coming <laughs> through, man. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Peace. All right, hey, hell, Hydra. Peace, peace. Okay, why am I in full screen now? What the fuck is happening? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, I got called by my oh. girl. Oh, um, yeah, no, that, that, that's cool. Oh, Mr. Benison, give me one second. Um, right. finally, fucking Z Boy gets up in here. God damn. Um, I want to get to Z Boy. And I want to get to category, but first, Young Prez, what's up, man? Yo, what's up, man? Uh, yeah, yeah, Z Boy, give me one second. Yeah, give me Z Boy, give me one second, because I want to get to you. But first, I want to get to Young Prez, Young Prez, man. Would you? Because, because me, 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 Cuzzo, and Mister Benetton have been going hard on this conversation. Uh, Young Prez, what you think about what you heard so far? No, I mean. I mean, really, what is there to, what is there to say? I, I mean, now you I know, know what you want to say. I can say, say like, what I you like, want I, to say. No, like I feel, I feel like, oh, I mean, oh no, man, I, like, I mean, what is there to say about this, bro? Like, if if everything he's saying is true, then you know, like there needs to be recourse to all this shit. But like, Jay needs know, to go down in terms of, yeah, for sure. Like, did he, bro? Like. The fuck, like none of you niggas, y'all need to stop feeling like y'all are untouchable. If you're actually doing, it's one thing to rap, it's one thing to you know glorify a persona of something, but when you're actually creating harm, like when you're actually actively or like of your own volition, like not like oh, you know I I believe in this, and then people follow suit because they 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 want to rock with you. Not like that. I mean, like when you're actually like you yourself. <laughs> Are doing things, yeah. You need to be fucking. You, you need to be fucking reprimanded by the fullest extent of the fucking law. So, if if everything that Kendrick is saying is true, then yeah, like let, let, let's get that man out of office. What are you talking about? 